Yo, what's up Tarnish, it's your boy Albie and we back with another video. So in today's video, we're gonna basically be talking about this Halloween update. Your boy has finally done everything, completed everything. It's not gonna be a yap session, but it's just gonna be a walkthrough and I'm gonna show y'all weapon stats and I'm going to like basically just explain the Halloween update for y'all and how everything works, what um, NPCs drop what, where to get this, and how this works and how to know what this do. This is really what's gonna be just explained. But first off, we're gonna start off with the drops. We're gonna do. We're gonna start off with the drops. So the first thing, the first thing is we got this blade right here. So this blade is a mythic blade. Right now, I'm running the mythic drops for the um, for the event. We have the mythic blade, and a lot of people didn't know this, but this blade has six six six, which you know, present like is something related to the devil. So this, I'll call this the devil's blade. And then we got the armor, the mythic armor, the armor that was so hard to get. I ended up getting it with a trait called Excellent. We'll get into the um, the trait, the Excellent trait. I got very lucky and got a trait on my armor. So, you know, on my first try. So that's great. And then the other drops, right? For those who haven't gotten them, let's go to weapons. We got the we got the grasp. So this is Dan Arm for everybody that was telling me I was doing a yap session in that video. This is Dan's arm right here. You also get it from the boss. If you have paid attention till the end, you would have known that I said the boss drops it. And I explained how to fight the boss with a f um, less people. Like, as you can see here, I got I don't have that many people on the server. We're currently forming Golem and we're forming um, Riddlebone still. Just to get some more people the the armor. And these are the stats I'm running. Everybody likes to ask me for stats. There you go. Search for a split second. And if you want, you can go back and you can pause it. So that's how I'll be yapping too much. And I do have a lot to show in this video. So I think I have enough time to actually talk through everything. And then we got the half evil sword. The half evil sword is another legendary drop. You get this from the boss, right? So I, I'm going to explain what, like, what items you get from the boss. It's the half evil sword. You get it from the boss, etc, etc. Um, the boss itself drops. It's not the chest drop. So you get, you get the half evil sword from the boss himself. And you get this armor from the boss. But the thing with the armor is the boss has to be corrupted. And I don't know if y'all know what a corrupted boss is, but whenever a NPC boss spawns in, it has this purple aura around his body. And that will indicate that he is corrupted and it gives you a 1% chance of you getting the armor. But typically for like other drops, you have a higher chance to get an armor or whatever item that drops from the boss whenever it's corrupted. It gives you two times the drop chance, you know? Um yeah i think i think so so now let's show you how the stats for enigma blade being mythical which you know has the highest stats so we'll start off with gallon's grass it does blunt it, it does uh bludgeoning damage so yeah yeah bludgeoning damage i'm sorry like it's like it's super the words are like super small and i i can't i can't i can barely see it it does bludgeoning damage 10 so it's basically it's a strength uh, based weapon me personally, I just wanted to keep it just to say like I did the Halloween event and I had everything. I wanted to collect this event. And then for the half evil sword, we do eight slashing damage. And it looks it looks pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? It looks like a pretty cool sword. And then for the the main sword, which is the the Enigma, the Enigma blade itself, it gives it gives you twelve plus um slashing damage. And currently right now slashing damage is not the best thing, so if they end up fixing that in the future and it gets better, this this blade itself could end up being a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and equip my blade back on. And now for the armor, we have the pumpkin armor, right? Which I didn't show you. I'll go ahead and unequip. This is the pumpkin armor. I'll show you exactly which NPC drops this. The pumpkin armor looks like this. And then I'll show you how the stats for it. This is like the legendary drop from the pumpkin, so it could take you a while to get. It gives you 10 con. It's, it's really not bad at all. It's really not bad. So if you end up having the pumpkin and you didn't have the carapace, the carapace, you know, at least you got something from the uh, from the event. Me personally, I wanted to make this video for y'all and show y'all every drop and explain the raid through and through um, for y'all and like every drop that you could possibly get. So we got 10 con, we get um, two strength. So it's not bad. But with this one, as y'all can see here, the mythic is actually pretty worth it. So you, you, you always want to go for that mythic for sure. We get 15 con, we get um, five dexterity, five strength, five intelligence. So this 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 armor is basically good for mages, um, strength builds, whatever you want. If you want to run a hybrid, this is just perfect right here. And I'm currently running a hybrid without 
without heavenly restriction. So I, I'm I'm also good with hand to hand combat. Like I'm not I don't, I don't have to rely on my magic too much, but I can you know go back and forth. And then we get 10% damage um, reduction against every damage, like all damage. Like it doesn't matter. It's not blunt damage because I know where is it. The Vanguard armor does 20% um, against um, bludgeoning damage. So basically like weapons that use strength, that has strength, you get a 20% damage reduction. Which is pretty good still, but you know, with the 10% all damage, you know, no matter what it is, you're still getting that 10% damage reduction from you. So now a lot of people be asking, because um, a lot of people has this quest right here, right? The 23,000 um, studs away. This is a story mission quest uh, for everybody that be commenting it. It's a story mission quest and it's in the Halloween realm itself. And the only reason why I haven't posted this, video, I, I did post a video, but I deleted it because, you know, YouTube was being weird and I apologize for that. It, take, it took me this long to make this video, but, you know, I'm, at least I'm pushing out the video now. I'm on six minutes. I'm going to try to make the video. 10 minutes so it's not too long we're gonna get straight oh damn I, I did that wrong i did that wrong so i gotta show you exactly where it is i just walked to it so if you want to come you want to come by this lake right here right if you spawn here this is the lake and then you should look for a portal like this so it looks just like the golem the golem portal there's no way you telling me you missed this and you didn't try to open it or try to go inside you want to go inside right and i'm going to show you at every npc and how everything works so when you walk in we just walk through these hallways. We, we walking through the hallways, right? From here on out, whoever wanted to see the armors and what the drops look like and then what they look like themselves, I showing you all of that. From now on, from from this point of, in the video on, it's going to be on like boss drops, NPCs, um, what this NPC does, how to open a door, and like basically just a walkthrough, a quick walkthrough of the game itself. Um, this NPC right here, right? I don't know exactly what level you you have to be to pick up this quest I was already level 75 when I picked up this quest But these are repeatable quests. So like as you're form if you're um, level 75 and you're forming in this area um, One thing to note that these these pumpkins do like 90 90 um, bite damage Yeah, like they do about like 90 bite damage. Yeah, 90 bite damage still so what you want to do and they they don't get they don't get um Where's the sound coming from? I'm so confused right now. Oh, that's what. <laughs> I was so confused to where the sound was coming from. All right, I fixed it. We're all Gucci now. We're Gucci. We're Gucci now. All right, so let's get straight back into the video, though. Um, but yeah. So they don't. They don't get knockbacks. So these NPCs, they don't have knockbacks at all. So. Like, wait, actually, wait. They made them have knockback now? Oh, you can knock them back now. Hold on. Never mind. This is this is way better. Because before, you couldn't knock them back. I guess he made it a little bit easier. You, f you form these NPCs, and then they have a chance of dropping. So what I would tell you to do, right? I'll give you a nice little um, little trick that I use. I aggroed, I aggroed like three of them. The one that was right here that followed him. And I aggroed this one right here. But you're going to need double jump for this. Right? And you want to aggro all three of them. Sometimes they'll go back, but you know, and then once you sit up here, you have your spat, uh, magic move. You can just go ahead and, oh, well, you can just go ahead and spam them. And voila, you could form three at a time. You could form three at a time and still be safe. We're going on to the next. We're going on to the next. Hopefully this, that little method helped you because the update probably has like what? You have today, and the, uh, um, the event ends later today at 11 p.m. So, you know, you have till then to get the armor, you know, wish you the best of luck. And I'm sorry I didn't post this earlier. Yeah, I probably could have been, um, everybody could have probably been, um, have been on this update. But it, I had to delete it. Like I said again, I had to delete it. And then the half evil sword is from the, well, it looks just like their blade, but it's, it's silver instead. It's silver instead. And it's perfect. The riddle bones just spawn. So whenever you get, whenever you get that message where it says riddle bones just spawn, you that's when the boss spawns right and everybody will start running to the boss and you got to kill 50 of these guys and then when you kill 50 of these guys you want to run here with everybody that you're farming with as i can just see so this is perfect for the video i didn't plan none of this at all they've just been in the server farming and then we can show you a little bit of like the the boss fight and everything so after you do the 50 you, you do the um 50 skeletons the door these these eyes will glow this is what indicates that 
the boss is in the room and i know a lot of people didn't know this but it's something i picked up on and then you want to just come over here you want to pick up the quest there's a daily quest that you can do you know and it gives a decent amount of exp no matter what the level is so this is another way for low level players to you know level up get a little bit of you know a little bit of a boost and then when, once you get here you want two strength build users two strength build users and then once you have the two strength build users you can open the door but as y'all can see right here, we don't have the two strength build users unless uh, my partner Ren right here is waiting for somebody. He also had got the, the armor, as y'all can see. We have three people currently in our discords that have the armor. For future updates, if y'all want to join, because I'm way past my time. If y'all want to join for events and stuff like that, we do them in the discord. And we also live stream in the game discord. We post our live stream, so you, know, you don't want to miss out on those um, activities. Also... But, you know, I'm going to stop um, talking now. Um, let me know if this video was helpful. I'm sorry I couldn't show you how the boss fight, but I'm not trying to take up any more time than I already have. I'm just trying to post a video for y'all. If, if this video was helpful, leave that in the comments down below. If there's a video you need help with or something you want help with, something you want to know, leave it down below. And if, you're, if, you're, if your comment gets like three to four likes, I will post whatever video you recommended. Because I, I have a lot of videos that y'all have recommended and I have it written down in my book right here and there's an xbox giveaway that's it leave a like comment subscribe well not now at 10,000 subscribers leave a like comment subscribe and you know i'm out i, I just don't want to waste some more time peace